Is your WordPress performing slowly? And are you searching for a modern, powerful alternative? With this new open source platform, you get a better SEO ranking and speed of 10 times faster than WordPress. Today, I will show you how to self-host Ghost, a free WordPress alternative, on your own VPS. Let's start. I'll walk you through the process of hosting Ghost CMS on your VPS with Docker Compose. Before we get started, I suggest you check out my previous video where I cover how to set up Docploy, a great deployment tool that we'll be using today. Make sure to watch that to ensure you're all set up for success. So why choose Ghost? Unlike WordPress, which can often feel heavy and overwhelming, Ghost is designed for speed and simplicity. It's an excellent option for bloggers, journalists, and anyone who appreciates a clean, focused writing environment. It uses advanced technology like React that improves performance and can integrate with APIs and webhooks. Step 1. Setting up your VPS. To begin, you'll need a VPS. Any reliable provider will work. You can check our cheap VPS provider list on our website. Make sure it meets the minimum requirements for running Ghost. You may need at least one gigabyte of RAM and one vCPU server with Ubuntu 20.04 or 22.04. We'll be using Docker Compose to make the process easier, so everything from installation to updates runs smoothly. If you're not familiar with Docker Compose, don't worry, I'll walk you through each step. To deploy Ghost, we are using Docploy, which is an all-in-one open-source deployment tool out there. You need to install Docploy on your server before starting the process. Go through our previous video and prepare your server. Step 2. Docker Compose Setup on Docploy After installation of Docploy on your server, go to the dashboard. Create a new project on it. Next, you can create your application's front-end, back-end, and databases here. We are going to use a pre-made template on Docploy to set up Ghost. Click the Create Service button and select the Template tab. In this template list, find Ghost and deploy it. You will see a template created for your project. You have to customize it to add an SSL certificate and an external database. I'll share a link in the article to the Docker Compose file I'm using, which you can modify to suit your requirements. First, you need to add some traffic labels to this Docker Compose code. It ensures that your domain will get an SSL certificate to use HTTPS traffic. If you are using my template, you don't need to manually add those labels. I already added them. You just need to copy and paste them here. After you paste the code, go to the environment section and change the ghost host to your domain. The next thing is to go to your domain name provider and add an A record on DNS settings to point out the domain. When you add the record, type the at symbol as the name and put the server IP address as the value. Use the lowest TTL for fast propagation of the record. Step 3. Connect a separate database. Inside your project, you can separately deploy a MySQL 8 database and connect it to the ghost. Let's deploy a separate database. Go to your project and click the Create Service button, then select Databases. Here, select MySQL and enter the database name. After that, simply click the Create button. It will create a template, go to the database and copy and paste the database credentials to your Docker Compose file. After all, copy and paste to the Compose file and deploy the database. Remember, you should deploy the database before the ghost.
Step 4. Deploying Ghost with Docploy. Now, let's put everything into action with Docploy. After you deploy the MySQL database, save your Docker Compose settings. It's time, you just have to click the Deploy button. After a few minutes, your Ghost site will be ready for the web. After deploying Ghost, you can visit your new site using the domain you set up. This is your opportunity to customize the site, add content, and make it unique. Keep in mind that self-hosting Ghost provides you with incredible flexibility and control. Whether you're building a blog, a publication, or a personal website, you can go to the admin panel by putting slash ghost at the end of the URL. That's a wrap on our comprehensive guide to self-hosting Ghost, a better alternative to WordPress that gives you full control. If you found this tutorial useful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more similar content, and feel free to share your thoughts or questions in our forum. Happy hosting!